So, Bethesda has finally unmuted themselves. And they gave us a release date on Starfield, which I'm happy about. September 6th, 2023. And we're also getting the Starfield Direct, which is going to be on June 11th, 2023. Now, am I a little bit concerned? Yeah. But let's talk about it. We finally no longer have to guess. We have the Starfield Direct date. We have the Starfield release date. And that is that. We all should be happy that it's actually releasing six months from now. That is not that long of a wait. It could have been November or it could have been 2024 for all we know. But we do have to address the elephant in the room. So it is effectively a second delay. And it also does mean that we're one strike away from hitting three delays, which is what happened to Cyberpunk. And that's why I am just a little bit concerned. But it also doesn't strike me as a game isn't done delay. And the reason why it doesn't strike me as a game isn't done delay is when we watched that trailer and then Todd Howard speaking, he wasn't apologetic at all. What he was talking about was that he was playing the game, that they were playing the game, that they can't wait to share it with us. So that tells me something. That tells me that this game is done. The only thing they have to do is just make sure that it runs correctly on Xbox Series X. And of course the S, which is the one thing that drags them down because it's less powerful hardware. And that is it. They weren't apologetic at all. They weren't saying the game isn't done so you have to wait another six months. What this in fact strikes me as is a business decision. The only month that was available was March. The other months, including June, they already have Xbox releases. So you wouldn't want to release a game on that month because it would take away player count and player hours from these other games because everyone is going to be playing Starfield, at least the grand majority, because it's a triple-A game, and all these other games, well, they are kind of filler-type games. And then we have to look at the games at the rest of the year. What is left? You know, you already had all these games come out in the first half of the year. What do you have left for the second half of the year? Well, one of the games is, of course, Forza, which I am personally looking forward to. I should make a video on it, but I don't know if I'm going to have the time because I'm already late on this one because I have a regular day job. This is just for fun. But Starfield would be the second one, and it looks like Starfield is anchoring that third quarter. The fourth quarter, that's going to be Forza's domain, my reckoning at least. So am I disappointed? <laughs> yes, of course, because I wanted to play it already. But at least it is not November 2023. So we get it a couple of months earlier, I guess. It's not a full freaking year after the original release date, which gives me just, just a little bit of extra hope, I guess. A little bit of extra acceptance, if that's the word you want to use. But it does make me a little bit worried because we need it to be perfect now. And especially on Xbox. Like for PC, you can make all the excuses you want. Like hardware, wildly different. It's not like it's a box like an Xbox, essentially, that has all the same hardware. It either runs good or it's not. And if it doesn't run good now, we got an extinction level event. We have a, a Cyberpunk 2077 event on our hands. And I don't think Microsoft and Xbox are going to take that hit very well because... We only have to think back to Halo, and I'm personally not a Halo fan, but I've read on it, and people were not happy with the latest installment, so that's one of those things that I don't think they have a lot of goodwill left, and I do think that they need to knock it out of the park with Starfield, and for me personally, I think it's going to do great, because I know the limitations of Creation Engine, I know the limitations of Bethesda, and I'm expecting that stuff, but... If you do not expect that stuff and you don't want to have anything but perfection, I think that that is going to be an issue. So I really wonder what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below because I would really love to keep the conversation going. We got three months to the direct, six months to the release, and within that period, we are going to have to make up the hype ourselves. We're going to have to keep it up, keep it going. And I'm going to try to do my part, and I hope that everyone else in the community is going to do the same thing. As always, hashtag game for the sake of gaming. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And please hit that subscribe button, because I'm still trying to hit a thousand subscribers. And we're slowly heading in that direction, which makes me pretty happy. But anyway, it's been a great conversation. I hope you enjoyed it. 
and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Hey, I'm on vacation every single day because I love my vacation. Hey, I'm on vacation.